Hey everyone, welcome back. I've had some people ask me to do one of these hand crank solar type AM FM radios. So today we're going to take a look at the Airsun Solar Hand Crank AM FM Emergency Radio. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I want to show you this radio today. The company uh, Airsun was nice enough to send this along. Um, I had some people asking me to review some of these hand cranked radios and I did one a long time ago um, of a really really older style hand crank radio and the efficiency really wasn't up there and the battery capacity definitely wasn't up there with this this has enough battery capacity that you could actually use this as a phone charger and we're going to demo that in a second but it's got four power sources so you can charge it from the wall you can charge it from the crank back here and that crank just pops right open and it's not as loud as some of the other ones I've tried either, as you can hear that. You also have your battery charger. You know, you can charge it up. And the power source, it's in here. It's an 18650 battery. Now, I'm going to tell you, the first thing I did was take it out and look at it, how it was set up. You cannot just carry an extra 18650 on this. It's, wi it's a wired 18650. You can replace it, but it's got a little plug on it. So the positive and negative terminals are probably soldered on. I really didn't want to mess with it too much because I'm demoing it. So um, generally, I would say with something like this, you'd leave it out in the sun, you'd be fine. I got the studio lights on in here. And I don't know if you can tell that little red light is on there. That means it's charging. So with just the ambient lights inside this room, it's charging. And it's not the brightest, <laughs> brightest room in here. So you can charge your cell phone with it. 2,000 milliamp battery bank which is pretty impressive for a, um, a radio, because a radio really doesn't draw that much current. Let me get that match out of there. I had it to tilt it up for you. Oh, I got the wrong cord. Give me a sec, I'll get the right cord. All right, that's a mistake I make often with this phone, because I forget it's got a Type-C USB. I just got the cable from the other room. We'll plug it in there. And plug it in. And there you go. If you see the little battery up in the corner there, it's got a little lightning bolt through it, so it's charging it. But it's already at 100% because I had it sitting on the charger. But you get the idea. It works. So not only is it a handy radio, but you can charge your stuff off it. Whoops. I hit the light. We'll look at that in a second. Um, you can charge your stuff off it, and it's uh, easy enough to uh, keep it topped off in any kind of situation. You do have a battery indicator light here. This is full. See the blue lights? Whenever I hit that button up there, it comes on, shows me the, uh, the power that's remaining in the battery. You also have a tuning light here. We'll see that when we go outside, and it will blink when you're right on frequency. So that's kind of handy because the tuning is very sensitive. Remember, you've got a huge band here, and just moving it the slightest little bit could take you on or off frequency, you know? So you want to tune these radios, these type of radios, very slowly and search for your fr frequency that you're looking for. So it's got the one watt LED light, which I showed you. Let's turn off the light here and give you a quick look at the light. I got some ambient light going in the garage, but that's pretty darn bright. You know, I gotta say, for a one watt LED, that would be good enough for me for a tent light. You know, let's say we'll put it up, hang it up in your tent. That would work. Not a bad light, kind of handy to have. Nice as an emergency radio. It's kind of an all-in-one package, so you get your communications, plus a light, plus a way to recharge it, very, very simply. Your antenna is located up here. I keep turning that light on. <laughs> right there, folds out. Now remember, the reason we're going to go outside and test this is because, let's face it, I've got a lot of electronics going on in here. I've got all these lights going on. I've got my solar power backup system over that way. That's a lot of interference for these small radios. So we're going to take it outside and test out the, uh, the reception on it. The uh, sound quality is very good on it. I was very pleased with that. It does have a limited lifetime warranty, so it's a 12-month worry-free warranty. If you're not happy with the product, they'll take it back from you and either issue a refund or a replacement. The solar panel. It has a 0.3-watt solar panel, so it honestly takes about 35 hours to charge it from the panel only if it's completely dead. You know, just like a regular 18650 battery. And it's usable after about 10 hours. And that's completely, completely dead. So you've got the hand crank dynamo. 
USB phone charging, it's a 2000 milliamp power bank, and you've got the battery level indicator, which I showed you there when I turned the light on before. Its frequency range on AM is from 520 to 1700. On FM, it's 87 to 108. And it does have a weather band, although I don't know if we're going to be able to pick it up out here because our weather band, our weather station up on the mountain is kind of not the best. Even on my uh, ham regs with my antennas 40 feet in the air, I still get a whole bunch of static. So we may not be able to hear that, but uh, we'll definitely give it a try. We'll take it outside and uh, give it a try. So let me bring this outside to our testing area and uh, we'll try it out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna let you hear is I just have a talk station on FM. Um, unfortunately, I can't play music because YouTube gets weird about the copyright stuff. Somebody's smoking, they could say, hey, you can't so, do that here, but you can go down the street. You and can hear the quality of the sound. Sense, you know, proximity issue. Sounds pretty good. A lot of sense. Now we're gonna try it out on AM. I think is gonna be a point of contention. Is the now, as I've told you folks, um, our AM reception out here. We have one AM station we can receive from Vegas. That's the best you're going to get on a small radio out here. If you live in an area with a lot of AM reception, you'll get a lot of different stations. But for now, that's pretty much it. That's good enough to listen to if you had to hear it. Not bad. So, let's take it back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Now, I do have one little disappointment. Uh, I was unable to let you hear it on the weather bands. For some reason, our weather um, frequency out here isn't working. I had it on my, I tried it on my weather radio, on one of my ham rigs, and the ham rig in here, and I'm not getting anything but static. So I think it might be down for maintenance or something, but honestly, when you hear it, it sounds just like the FM. It sounds fine. When I got this radio in first, I did give that a try. So all in all, the features are pretty cool. It's um, priced right about in the range of all the other radios that I've seen for sale. You know, the crank radios and emergency type radios. It's got a nice rubberized hard case. So if you drop this, you don't have to worry about it exploding in a million pieces. It is, you know, hard rubberized kind of material. It does feel good in the hands. It's sticky, you know, it's not gonna, it's not sticky, but it, it sticks in your hands. You're not gonna drop it. It's got a good firm grip to it. So. For an emergency radio, you really can't go wrong with it. One thing I didn't demo was the emergency um, alert. And I think it's just, I don't know why they put them in radios, but I guess it could be handy in the case of an emergency or some kind of, you know, if you get lost in rubble of a building or something and you want to signal rescuers. But it works kind of like this. So it's kind of loud and obnoxious, but it, in an emergency, it would definitely get you noticed. So it's definitely kind of a neat feature to have. I don't know that I'd be using it for any much of anything, but um, most of the radios come with that these days, so it's really no big deal. Um, so it's a handy thing to have. So anyway, there you go. You got your AM, FM, your weather bands. Definitely a good power outage um, radio. Good emergency standby type thing. If you wanted to keep this fully charged at all times, just keep it somewhere where there's sunlight. You know, you can keep it in a windowsill if it's not too hot because you don't want to melt plastic. Um, you got this thing going here. And, you know, 35 days sounds like a really long time, but if you're using this just for emergencies, it could sit up there for a year before you'd actually need it. <laughs> so to recharge the battery from completely dead, which it won't come to you completely dead, you're doing okay. Um, it's pretty easy to charge up. I did charge this up with the plug. Um, I actually plugged this in and used the, uh, the my power strip back there just to top it off um, I know they can't legally ship them overseas without uh, keeping it at like a quarter of a charge or something so I did top it off just for you know for information's sake it does come with a little manual the manual is fairly decent it explains all the uh, all the features all the different buttons fairly simple no uh, it's written in decent English so you can actually understand it and um, I'm liking it so far. So we're going to give it a test. We're going to try it out a little bit, a little bit more. Use it as my shop radio for a while. And uh, then I'll probably end up uh, giving it to a friend of mine who's been dying for one of these. So I'll let you know if anything fails on it. Anyway, I'm going to put the link down below. They run about $33.99. So for $34, bucks, you got a flashlight, an alarm, AM, FM. You've got your uh, solar charging. You've got your hand crank, dynamo crank. And you've got your... Um, ability to listen to the weather radio. Unfortunately, our station here is down, so all you hear is static. Um, but all in all, I'm really, really liking it. 
It's definitely a neat little feature, and it's priced within the range of other crank-type AM, FM emergency radios. And with this, you get a few extra features, so that's not that bad. So I'm going to put a link down below. They run about 34 bucks, And uh, you can check it out there, see if you like it. Check it out for yourself. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to put my link underneath this one, underneath this link here. I'm going to put my link for my Amazon store. This will be in my Amazon store as well. Uh, if there's anything that you've seen me review that you want to buy, you can check out the Amazon store right there. If there's absolutely nothing on the store you want, just click the link. Shop as you normally would. It doesn't cost you absolutely anything to do. And it helps out the channel a little bit so we can bring you more cool gear. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Now is a really good time to start stocking up on long-term storage foods with all that's going on in the world. So definitely give it a look and see if there's anything that you uh, would like to pick up. Anyway, folks, thanks for taking along with me today. Stay safe and stay prepared.